Hey, uh, this is Chris, uh, in the forest. I'm walking back for lunch, and, uh, just gonna show you our work site. Here, on the right, actually here on the left over here, you can see there's not as much green. This path I'm walking on is what they call a fire line. Keep the fire, they prescribe fire from burning all over the place. So over here, still green, hasn't been burned. Over here, everything is charred. And the only green, little new sprouts that the burn encourages new plant growth. And here's my chainsaw, Smokey. And there's me, there's my chaps. Keep me safe. Uh, Perfect. So this is what we call a check step. Dig it out so that the top of the bar isn't really much above the trail surface tread and then fill it underneath the gap with uh, a little bit of dirt and some rocks we'll crush up and call crush and then we'll fill it the rest of the way in. My work can I stand there for a second? Will it take a picture of me? It's video. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bummer. Okay. No, it took I many <laughs> pictures of you. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah, it looks, it looks good. Alright, I'm going to smash some rocks for a while. Mm -hmm. What they call chinking rocks. It's not a racial slur. It makes these little jagged shards which piece together nicely and prevent movement by the log when water begins to erode it. Any questions? Ooh, that was a good one. dirt or fill as in Collins Another factor that encourages decomposition in logs like this one in this kind of project is the bark and the layer immediately under the bark, which decomposes quickly and makes water, I mean air pockets. So you can see that it's obviously not that big a factor because we leave the bark on but if we really wanted to, we could strip that right off there. And it would maybe last a bit longer.
Hey, y'all have any uh, dirt you're not going to use? That's cool. I got a hammer. Isn't that where you wanted it? Thank you. No? Yes. Okay. Yes, it's good. Sorry. <laughs> Give me that look. <laughs> yeah, this animal pee Thank you, sir. Would you be willing to trade a, uh, Matic for a Pulaski? Bonnie? Thanks, dude. I think that's probably enough. Thank you much.